Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's nice being with you here again today. Today I'll be promixing this cream, lemon clear cream. There is lemon clear plus that one is more stronger than this one. Okay, but today is lemon clear I'll be promixing. And then um, before some of you tell me that I'm not wearing hand gloves, I'm not promising this for anybody. I'm just promixing it to show somebody that asked me that she has this cream how could she promix it so i went to learn a great length to buy this cream and some of the ingredients and show her how she could promix it effectively to give her at least three shades like lighter difference okay so before we start i also like you to know that my utensils are here and they are all clean my table is clean everything has been ready so i'll start so as usual my scale is here okay my scale is here, and I'm going to measure out 250 mils of my lemon clay, which I'll be using as my base cream. This cream is about 500 mils, so I'm using up basically I'm using half of it. Why I like this cream is, you know me now, I like everything herbal, everything natural. The color itself is attractive to me. It's green. <laughs> it has lemon in it. And so far, the reviews on this cream is not bad. It has vitamin C and E. Um, it's it has fruit acids. Okay, in that at least they said that they have uh, fruit acid that also contains citric acid and some ingredients like that. Sha, they did not mention that it has hydroquinone, but it probably does. So, I'll open it up. And I'll be fetching 250 mils. From this choking smell, I know it contains sodium metabisulfate. Is this sodium metabisulfate? I'll be sodium metabisulfate. That is one that gives this kind of creams, this choking smell. And usually, creams that have this kind of sodium, that have this sodium metabisulfate is because they contain hydroquinone. It's to preserve the hydroquinone in the, in the cream. Also, if you look at the ingredients, it contains lactic acid. The fact that it contains lactic acid also means that they need to create an a, an acidic environment that the hydroquinone will able, be able to thrive on. You know, hydroquinone thrives more. For hydroquinone to work, it needs an, an acidic environment. Okay? So this is my 200 and... 50 grams of cream so to these 250 grams this 250 grams is almost more than half of the cream they said the cream is 500 mils that's what they wrote here but for my measurement here this is 250 mils and see this is what is remaining it's somewhere around here. So definitely this might not be up to the 200. And, might not be up to the 500 mils. So to eat, as usual, I have my recipe. I'm not just ranting things off heart. Okay. To eat, I'll be adding my lemon of it. And for my lemon of it, I'm putting in one tube. That's to 250 mils of my... Uh, lemon clay I'll be putting in one whole tip of lemon of it so I'll squeeze it out and then also why I'm not putting it inside the cream is because I would like to mix it on its own it's separate with a little bit of cream so that it will not form so that it will dissolve properly then I'll also be adding uh, glutathione concentrate okay glutathione with ampoule or whatever it is that they call it so uh, i forgot to tell you this one tube is about 30 grams okay it's 30 that's what they wrote is 30 grams so i've already measured it together with the measurement so now i'll be putting in my pejun and i'll be putting in 30 grams also 
that's 30 grams of this um, concentrate glutathione um, concentrate okay so next i'll be putting in is my citroclair and my citroclair also i'll be putting in 30 grams of my citroclair oil That is almost half of the, if no more than half of the citroclair. That's what will give me 30 grams. Okay. So that's my 30 grams of citroclair oil. Then I'll be putting in my bio oil. My bio oil is like a treatment oil. Okay. And my bio oil, I'll be putting in, my bio oil, I'll be putting in 12 grams. So next, what I'll be putting in is my, I'll mix this up first before I add any more ingredients. So I'll mix it properly. I want to avoid all these, these knots, this, um, this small, small seed that you're seeing. That's why I didn't put it in the main cream. That's why I didn't put it all in here first. So let me mix it up first before I add it in. Even though I'm going to stick blend my cream, the final product. Then next I'll be putting in my neem oil. This is my neem oil and um, five grams. So that's five grams. This neem oil is like an anti-reaction oil. Then I'll be putting in my almond oil. The almond oil is to moisturize the skin and also to reduce to some extent the harshness of some of these chemicals. So for my, I'll be putting in 15 mils of my almond oil and I've already put in 15 mils of my almond oil. Okay, so I'm mixing it first. Another ingredient I'll be adding is my vitamin E oil. And I'll be putting in 15 grams also of my vitamin E oil. This vitamin E oil is to extra moisturize. I'll put in 5 grams of my vitamin E oil. So I'll put in 5 grams of my vitamin E oil. And the last ingredient I'll be adding is my skin-free milk. And I'll be putting in 10 grams of my skin-free milk. So that's 10 grams of my skin-free milk. So I'll give this a good stir. And as you can see, it is smooth now. It's smoother. So I'll now mix this in. This my container is too small. I have to change container. So I have to change container because obviously this one is too small. Okay. Can I give it a good stir? I love the color. That was one thing I like about this cream, the color. Okay.
even with that stick blending, it's all this smooth. You can see. So anytime you want to put in your tube and all that, don't put it directly in the cream. Okay, especially if you don't want to go through the hassle of stick blending or you're not sure you have a stick blender close by. You can just mix in your tube and serums. When you mix in a bit of the tube, and if you put in, when you put in your tube, you add, mix, mix in a bit of your serum stir before you add others. Then before finally you pour into your, you pour your base cream slowly into it, slowly into it until you mix it up. You can see there's virtually no nodule here. Everything is smooth and consistent. And I like the texture. It is still thick. Okay. So you can now finally add in your preservative, even though almost everything we use here had a preservative but to be on the safe side still add because you can see we are using our hands even if you're wearing gloves still the environment is, in, is contaminated even my speaking alone that i'm speaking i'm contaminating this sample so i'm going to add in my preservative at 0.5 percent i'm not using one percent because already did this contain a preservative and i don't want the preservative to be too much so i'm putting only 0.5 percent not 0.5 grams so 0.5 percent so you do your calculation and then get to know your 0.5 percent so, so as you can see it's looking good and it's ready I love the color. Okay.